minister to all of us and bring us further than where we are. Help us in every bit of our daily living. In Jesus' name, granted God will thank you now. And I think we only have one call. I'm going to ask the station. Thanks for bringing me update that helps. And uh, it's better th than what I was thinking, but we still need more calls coming in. God bless your on the air. Yes. Hi, good evening, Pastor. You're you're on the air. Go right ahead and speak up. Hi, uh, this is Florida. Um, I'm listening to your station right now, and I'm so blessed with all your preaching. And I think it's the Holy Spirit um, uh, give me the courage to call you today, tonight, because I need um, a prayer. Uh, I'm a nursing student, and I have a final exam this coming week. And uh, uh, due to, um, I can't focus uh, much in the last uh, uh, test because I'm suffering from a depression, and I'm trying to ask God to... Um, uh, go back on track so that I can focus my schooling. I'm going to pray and ask God to turn your life into a testimony. May God you. Bl bless you in all of this moment. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, let this one be blessed exceedingly bring this one on into the ability to get out of trouble and be blessed because of getting closer god to thee but lord we get closer to you by getting close to jesus first and so let us rejoice in knowing what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Yea, we're here to thank you now. And taking our next call, God bless you on the air. God bless you, Pastor Bogle. God bless us all. I love that. Amen. I'm calling for prayer for my entire family from A to Z. Asking the Lord to bless my little great-grandchildren, Josiah, uh, Amaya, Aiden, and Nyla, especially Nyla. Nyla was uh, taken away from us for over two years. We didn't know where she was. And when we found her and I saw her, when they brought her to visit me, her little wrists were bruised. And I, I asked her, I said, what happened to you? And she says, I did it myself, Grandma. And so I just knew my heart just broke because I knew she was getting abused. And so now we've had her now for, I guess, maybe about seven or eight months. But her mom is fighting to get her back. She's on her fourth baby. And she said that uh, she needs to come home so she can help take care of the baby. And uh, she had two burns on her legs, both legs. She said she bagged into an iron. 
So it's just awful, and my heart is it's just aching and breaking for this child. And I'm asking the Lord to give the parents knowledge and wisdom, and asking the Lord for protection for my entire family, and asking the Lord to bless us spiritually and mentally, help me to be strong and not to be weak. And I, I really feel, I feel like fighting. I just really feel like fighting. I just. I'm just really hurt and upset about my, my great grandbabies. And so I'm asking the Lord to help us and ask and send his protection for us in Jesus' name. Dear Father, be with this one. And I'm asking God that you would lead and guide her and direct her. And God, that she would be able to not do anything that's negative, but to do everything that is loving and see more of it in our journey. But be with the one that she speaks of. Bring that one into a full time of being changed in a pleasant way. Give us, dear God, a pleasant change. Not just get us through trouble, but give us the ability to love in a marvelous way. In Jesus' name, granted God, and we shall thank you now but bless this one that's concerned about family take her on counting her blessing in jesus name <laughs>